So the items that we need to talk plain. So I'm going to start plain on that one. Yeah. Um, this new republic. The candidates that, that should be lining up are two of the top candidates that should be lining up to run for president or ceremonial president or whatever now work out to call it somebody. Them two personally, the two top topies candidate them, what we put up for run, should I be Bob Zigrange and Lisa Anna. Bob Zigrange and Lisa Anna. But there's a but. And why there's a but? Because Lisa Anna and Bob Zigrange are the most two, are the two most powerful women we left in our politics right now. Lisa Anna and Bob Zigrange are the two most powerful women where we see with our naked eye. Cause you have some other nigga behind them there. I call some shots so it's terrible. But we are talking who we are see with the naked eye. Lisa Anna and Babsy Grange fit to go head to head to lead the Republic because it's a woman I forgot lead the, the Republic. <laughs> Seeing but the woman we have to go lead the Republic. I forgot be deserving of it. Isn't it? So, this is where we are now. Who is that woman? All right. South East Sentan. We want to say, Lisa, no Lisa, Lisa, no Lisa. Me never know which bad. Sister Babsy. Constituency there. To be honest, I, mean, I think that's how many Spanish town do. Spanish town is born in a, a no more beer. I mean, it's who one more beer. So, yeah, the mistake with Lisa and I make was to go up against a Queen of Africa at a time when she did defend me with her loudest voice. Because she was the culture minister at the time when I went to the Grand Gala and decided to say, me will sacrifice my career because Mrs. Sopma come from Jamaica where everybody around from a turn a blind eye to a run off gone. A lot of us memory shot, so you would have to go research what happened when Queen Africa went to the Grand Gala before and after. Because it, a lot happened. And Lisa and I strike the fire that started it. I'm saying that to say, when you use something that somebody loves so much against them, babes, it a go cause an issue all when you didn't mean, you didn't have good intent. Make me say that. So, talk playing Queen Africa. When Lisa and I went ahead and put that letter in the paper that she regretted putting me on the Grand Gala because I dare to go up there and to ask everyone to pay attention to the big push that was coming in on our children where homosexuality was concerned. And, at, and Jamaicans was very angry when she did it. So we are saying, all right, see, we don't want crossroad, you know. I would want Lisa Anna to be the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And I wouldn't mind having Babsy Grange as the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And I wouldn't mind Kabu Mahat Keru, who is the truest candidate of all, becoming the President of Jamaica. I want to tell you, say, we should have reach out that statement there and say three people and put Kabu, Ka, um, Kabu at number one at the top of the list in terms of 
genuine interest towards nation building as a woman. But you don't know she know in politics. You see what I say? So, Bob's Grange now. Is somewhat of a friendly beast character because you can't do without love, Babsy Grange. It's like you know, say Babsy Grange do every wrong and she not do no wrong, especially for artists. Something about her does make people just how that Babsy because Babsy have a real Jamaican woman badness in her way, labor right and PNP like it. And us regular Jamaicans. Let me just hurry up and say that. See? So, as we line up at the beginning of this race <laughs> to the rest of what is going to be Jamaica, let's do it fairly. Put all of the voices on the table and let's reason about it. So Babsy, Lisa, Anna, I don't know really I look for Angie them and, and Bruce and Mark Gold in them and I tell them, say, yeah, me now, no? You know, you take a try off of I don't come out from back, I man them, man. No woman time, now. <laughs> I'm back to you, Angie. Yeah, look a bit, a long time now, I'm not too call your name. See you? I can't tell you how alone you could have come up with for Jamaican youth, them were ambitious, so. Of all the plans we are make for everybody else and the big old skyscraper, them we are go up everywhere around the place and all of the excitement we are going in a building. And as the builder, the only thing you can build for young black youths in a Jamaica, we just want the opportunity to live like how them feel, rich and lavish. A container will look nice. All me that live in one of them will look nice. And a container houses, though, they could have come up with something more than container houses for black youths. Yo, I'm telling you, tell you know, Jamaican people, I don't know. I'm sorry, I apologize. Because one did really depend upon us, the musicians, we steer on the corner. But anybody that steer Jamaican people, so I really, artists, you know, was the one where really speak for Jamaican people. And from them buy out the artists, them Jamaican people, not have nobody. And the few we were left, and I wall on, and I said, no man, no man. You know, see what I do me up on TikTok. I come over here so I sacrifice myself too. And your own is container houses cannot be the only solutions for ghetto youths and poor working class Jamaican people. The crime plan can't be that big mouth dread they want no call. Rather, Maldo, I'm sorry for him because he never have no mother and no father and for him circumstances. And maybe he never have no corruption in him. God bless him. But me, to how he hate woman and to how he chat about woman, he not have to hate woman so be a go on a him like Mr. Radam. Right? We are used as role model for young youths. We can't do a get up group. We can't hate woman. We don't love woman now, no? I just show the woman them now realize that they have the powers, you know? No man no have no power over your black woman. And you have the powers. Use it smart and wisely for the future. Your children for the election. Yeah, where you come up. No matter how sincere them are come across. No matter how sincere Tanya Stone a bat for PNP. Make sure say she a bat and make sure say you pick them and go all right after she done bat. Because see we are going with the pick them and we country. Yeah. Because we bat for them. Not a bat for them. And bat for people. And <clears throat> somebody send this go gay. One ugly sitting away in a social media. Me choose to call it ugly Dan. Ugly Dan. Yeah, yeah, me. I get kick out. You hear that? 
ugly done. You can't be no new man, boy. And a year type of man we want. Yeah? No matter what go on with Jamaican man, yo can't be the new man, boy. I be. I'm only an answer now because I'm ready now. Ugly Dan. Yo. Can't be no role model, boy. This is one of the all redundant one them. Yeah, ugly Dan. You can't be no role model, boy. So you are your little lesion army. Line up on yourself. Cause you know I figure surface somewhere. Low spice. Lego spice. Day man. And you see your spice. Me I send me on ask your number and me can't get it from nobody cause me need to talk to you before. Then use out the last of your little battery and dash your way. And you know, say me I talk to you, find a private, and me wait until you go fix yourself and come back. Yes, all who want say a clout, all who want say a clout. Me I look at this, me I look at that, me I look. <laughs> Ugly dad, you and your leisure now, me. Now nah, get no footin'. Panda rock ya. All I look at you, then we got you all kind of atrocities. I wanna come and line them up round and no foot I come and talk about. Talk for this one. We know what we want to do. We know who I give you the powers. We know why we're not so well positioned. I just choose spice them now, look out of them, God, I, why them, I see Uno as people where them need to go stand upside and be seen by people. The wounded people. Blessed day, everyone. Blessed. Everything good? Yeah, man. Give thanks. If thanks for life, you know, if thanks for love, if thanks for forgiveness, if thanks for blessings. Just overall, just give thanks to be alive, you know what I mean? Yeah, so vibes cartel. Them about for use you for the last hoorah, babes. Them about for use you for the last hoorah, pop, popcorn. Vibes cartel. Them about for use you for the last hoorah. I'm just one before I'm going further, I'm just one to say shorty, babes. I've always loved you. I've never, ever, I've always, from that day when I see in a stadium, I think it was a, either a girls and boys champs or something. And time they added it just gone in a prison and it did rough pan you and thing. And from that day, they want to hug so bad. But, you know, we never really get to come across each other. I mean, no, so you're a really strong woman because we see how you stand up with cartel throughout it all. One of the things where I use cartel for right now, all of a sudden cartel have a white wife. And no disrespect to no couple where interracial no way. But if an interracial couple of substance that they are Jamaica, it don't make no sense. So them draw for cartel and I use him now with this little white lady. We're yet for the clear which part you love cartel from. You know? Come on a parade as cartel wife and everybody are this shot, you know. And I make it look like a Miss Curran. I don't really know your babes. But I've always known of you in the industry. But just as the time come now for heal the people, you know, and heal the country. And just as how you did love Cartel, when everything was all right, it would have good if you love him now too. When everything not all right. You say, man, say, babes, what do you think you can go and do your thing? I don't want to tell no one what to do. But Cartel, them I use it for the last hour. I mean, just want to agree. With a bridge, you know, me sip on TikTok named J Progress, which in me can't believe, say, well, me not going to say me can't believe because we are Jamaican. Me give thanks to him eyes and the how he must see, because he must see correct. I would really agree with him that Shorty should take the children and leave Jamaica or leave to a safer place in Jamaica because they are slave places in Jamaica and I make them fool, you know. Seeing, but a narrative a shape. And it too calculated and we not taking no more for a serious note for you. Lady saw them about to use you for your last hurrah too. And my beautiful, beautiful angel spice, cause you know say me love you. You know that. Them about to use you for your last hurrah too. So a time now for all we come on behalf of the people now. A all our time for stand up with the people, cartel. Stand up with the people, cause the people been standing up with you. Defend Shorty, Shorty been defending you. Lego the domestic part of things, that are not the greatest part. Look on the public life, the public role we want to play. 
in a, in a, in a everyone's life. You see what I say? We cannot give Jamaica to them. So every section have to come on board and deal with. And that's about what we are saying for today. Say, if we really love Vibes Cartel, we have to go protect him now. Because we can't really talk everything what we see, but we can't talk enough where you are see. All of a sudden, him youth them, have people are trail him, and I say them are going to kill him. And the poor little youth have put up him like a video them, and I say him don't know what go on. Him father try to defend him from behind bars. Um, since my father there, my father couldn't defend him on them from which part him there. And we remember which part this whole Gaza gully something start from and how it impact Jamaican youths them and how them left idly at them a kill off them one another. And now that we are about to create this new republic, we have to go know what we are going to do with these youths. And so, yeah, so the narrative has shaped and flush out. So the original, the big flush out about for going on. Okay, now just to get to them, they have flush out now. They have flush out the entire island because they want to see what, what they and how we set up and how they are going to fix this thing. Yeah. But it has got all be at the expense again of the fans of the Vibes Cartels and the Movados and the Popcorns and the Now Skengs and the Now Big Up Yourself. Um, Sparta, Mrs. Say you're there. Let's get the youths together around putting down the guns in a real way, my babes, and start praying progress in not in political um unduelness them progress, but progress like no guns, but we want some of them container um houses there for be container business places instead, so that the youth them we have ideas for business can go to a container business hub. And can go get one of their little place for a little money to start them business. That kind of something that we are talking about. We need for a join up now for the people now and not for no one else. So Vibes Cartel, a Queen of Africa, they still I look out for you, you know. I that me always I do from them time they till now I say them want to use you against the people, cartel. Stand up with the people against them. So we still are stand up with you. We still have say you should be there road there help with the thing. So pay attention everyone because they want we to fight and fuss. They want the 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 order to create out of the chaos. But the chaos not really kick off yet. And now we are gonna decide what kind of chaos and the chaos are gonna be. That we are gonna come together and unite Maroon and Jamaican and everyone else involved and create the real out of many one. No blood, no blood, no blood, Jamaica, one voice, no blood, no blood, no blood, we now join no apocalypse, no blood, one voice, we are used, what we are used, one united voice, no blood. I didn't tell you that 2023 did have a festive, you know. <laughs> you know, not see nothing yet. It just start. It just start. But I just want to say to everyone who is looking on now and really paying attention. Here we are going, you know. You see them people who are calling themselves influencers. Watch your children them with them. It's rough, you know. But if the Almighty God get up and shine the sun every day, who is we? Fig one, like I said, we get tired. We can't get tired, you know. I know we have to turn up. When the roll is called up, I'll be standing tall up to face the darkest and the hardest of times. And you see, as me said that, we have said, let him tall up to tall up a bad artist. And you know we know the hypocrisy in our music. Yeah? Yeah, man, tall up a good artist, fix things spice. Cause you know, so when time I go start talk about your public in a spice, you know, say so the whole truth and nothing but the truth, me I go tell the whole world, you know, about me and you in a spice. And no matter how me I try to reach out to you, still, they in the arms of the devil, and I watch we women them go down, you know. Some of those ones saying on the Sunday day, I said, don't worry, man. These are the last days, and we have to experience them, because we're there. 
I will love the country and will love God. Yeah. So no matter how deep and how big the demon is, or the lesion, we no fear no Eden. We no fear. We heal his majesty and pride. I Celestia the first. I am a highly Celestian vanguard of earth. The one with the womb. Don't be afraid, man. Protect your children. Look in at the comments and look where them are quarrel with me because me I say. Look for who them have as with key influencers. The ones who them are cost me to defend. Because me I say defend with children them against these demons where them set up in a social media to be influencers, influencers for your children. We're not afraid of no now, man. A long time we are watching now. We see found no come to. And we there the same way. Love of self. Greatest, greatest feeling. Mwah. Yeah, man. At them. <laughs> Remember now, we know. I know quarreling. We're going over here. Right so see you. Mm -mm. It's not a quarreling page. It's a reasoning. You know, is that coming to grips with who we are and how we can, you know, <laughs> collectively do this thing as a people? Everyone say black people can't love each other, and we get the opportunity to show them say yes, black people can love each other. Oh yeah, we know. We have to go use the phone them to promote that. You see me? And as me I look at me nice manicure or what they call it, pedicure finger. I want to say to black woman, say, ease up on the whole heap and nail polish on the finger them every day, every week. You know, can't wear on you know, naked to them because, you know, you know, have to cover them because them things are cancerous. Nail polish. Especially them jelly where we love put on because them stay long. Very cancerous. Me only have nice up my finger them because, you know, my little like thing I come up and you know how we women stay with it. Because we not bored. <laughs> oh yeah, for I was doing me not say a while ago say. If we no love we black people, nobody no go love we. So if you fling the hardest stone for we, you know, I just start to go on and God I beg we for do it and God I say, in the day, you know, no matter what we do in the day, so we know to be so selfish, be selfless. Every now and again, you have to be a little selfless. So I just selfless, we just go and be selfless in other moments, yeah, you know? And just make the Almighty Creator do the rest, God. After all, that breath here will blow through, we don't know where it come from, we just... And we give thanks so we can do it. So, we could show gratitude, man, to a source. The atoms, the atmosphere, the I am, the most I creator of all things, whoever you conceive that creator to be. Let's make him proud. Let's make her proud, you know. Through the powers. Through the powers, man. Only through the powers. All right, so here we are going now. If removing the king as the head of state of Jamaica means say uh, it will afford us the opportunity for our republic, see? Why do we still need the governor general? Why we are he why are we hearing conversations like the governor general will choose who the ceremonial president is and 
why why would the governor general still be in the mix if we are getting rid of the monarchy in its entirety getting rid of the monarchy would mean that we completely abolish and sever every ties there is with the british monarch and stand united as a people forming a republic and then henceforth forming a republic government or getting a republic leader with the consensus of the masses i think that would be a better restart than to have labor right and pnp coming together them couldn't come together for nothing else and no matter what we are asked them to come together about them can't come together about things like the constitution we are going to benefit either of them we are going to end up at the head of things when it's done then we unite and stuff like that but for unite and stand with jamaica people and say let's throw out the monarchy once and for all everything that have to do with it so the maroons them throw down the treaty and the royal africans them and the arawak them and all the other stakeholders as we mentioned coming together now and saying let's start over on our terms as a people una go on, like i said that is an impossible maths me and maths up you know but as we paint the picture plainer you cannot have a constitution we are going to change to a new one and getting rid of the head of the monarch which is the new king we are coming but at the same time is the governor general going to choose whoever the president of the republic going to be like going to make that make sense for those that we are looking at and have like a sense about this thing yeah. and now we see the maroon and say all right be as far how we look as well we just say from the other day give we a seat round the table because to how we look jamaica people look like they know nobody and they're going to sit down and take this thing as so we are lining up for ourselves too. Jamaica people who open a bomb or a sclat, you know, no man, and make we look on and see, say, there's a set of way we are guinea pig now for this whole thing, you know. Just an evening meditation to everyone. Hope everything is good. Hope consciousness. Third eye, I open up. I really are looking at now because I'm a joke, I go on, you know. So, um, Remember one day when we did have the big something we did forward and <clears throat> you know what you call it the pandemic, yeah. Remember when the pandemic forward the other day and the entire world going in a panic and you know it's like I uh, know we don't really know what we're going, we don't know what we are doing, we just are doing what they say, basically. Um, some of the swans to the eye, they say. <clears throat> In regards to the new constitution we are forming you now, see? The PNP and the, and the um, JLP government at odds with the money that from the other day about the SOEs and um, you know, just the other things that they've been opposing up recently. But we notice say, in regards to the constitution, is both of them, uh, we call that now bipartisan, a move around town hall style and a promote the constitution and what they expect from the constitution and so forth and so on. We know so the vast majority of Jamaica never get the type of education where we make you understand things like what it means, what exactly is a constitution. So the layman can understand, say, you know, a constitution or something where they like <coughs> to be the thing that will stand out in your culture, especially. You know? A precedence where continuously repeat itself then in a sense i can't tell you i put it in a dictionary terms so a constitution is very 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 important to any country any culture anywhere in the world and to change it should really and truly have the people which is the masses at the center 
of any final decision made. So, really and truly, Jamaican people, the time has come right now for us to really look on seriously and what is happening for our future, for our children. And we're going to break down the Constitution a little bit more as we go along. But for right now, pay attention to the bipartisan cooperation because it's not for you. Richard Curry, Chief of the Akompong Maroons. You should not be looking for a seat around the table of the new constitution that is being formed, a.k.a. the new world order. Seeing the eyes should be calling up the Gammon, Mama G, and commanding her to call the peace between all stakeholders on behalf of black people on this island, especially the Jamaican populace. I am sure that the Maroons know what is coming for Jamaicans because they said it. When I went up to a compound town, a youth in, in, in the crowd said, yeah, worry about Maroon, and the Jamaican, them you know if you worry about. And I've been asking Richard Curry to come to Jamaica people and really and truly explain the original truth that the reason why there is just one set of Jamaicans in the dilemma that we are in right now. And even this constitution, this is about to sum up the rest of our lives. So in other words, with all the fights and the wars that was fought here in Jamaica to bend Jamaica people to the devil, we have now seen that the army of the devil have become so bright and big that even normal citizens are wondering if people like us make any sense anymore. And I'm saying to anyone who is listening, that please listen and pay attention. If the Maroons are asking for a seat at the table of the new constitution, who will sit at the table of the new constitution for Jamaican people? Who will stand for the rights of Jamaican people, the morals of Jamaican people, the beliefs of Jamaican people, the godliness of Jamaican people, Jamaican people who never bowed to the devil but gave everything to God? Who will stand for them at the new constitution table? So we're asking Richard Curry to tell the Gammon Mama G to call the original peace between Jamaicans who were free and Jamaicans who were enslaved so that as a united country, we can together stand and show the world our original unity go. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to come off it. Richard Curry. Bird Samuels them. Let's do this. Richard Curry, Chief of the Akompong Maroons. You should not be looking for a seat around the table of the new constitution that is being formed, a.k.a. the new world order. Seeing the eyes should be calling up the Gammon, Mama G, and commanding her to call the peace between all stakeholders on behalf of black people on this island, especially the Jamaican populace. I am sure that the Maroons know what is coming for Jamaicans because they said it. When I went up to a compound town, a youth in in, in the crowd said, Yeah, worry about Maroon, and the Jamaican, them you know if you worry about. And I've been asking Richard Curry to come to Jamaica people and really and truly explain the original truth that the reason why there is just one set of Jamaicans in the dilemma that we are in right now and even this constitution this is about to sum up the rest of our lives so in other words with all the fight 
fights and the wars that was fought here in Jamaica to bend Jamaica people to the devil. We have now seen that the army of the devil have become so bright and big that even normal citizens are wondering if people like us make any sense anymore. And I'm saying to anyone who is listening that please listen and pay attention. If the Maroons are asking for a seat at the table of the new constitution, who will sit at the table of the new constitution for Jamaican people? Who will stand for the rights of Jamaican people, the morals of Jamaican people, the beliefs of Jamaican people, the godliness of Jamaican people, Jamaican people who never bowed to the devil but gave everything to God? Who will stand for them at the new constitution table? So we're asking Richard Curry to tell the Gammon Mama G to call the original peace between Jamaicans who were free and Jamaicans who were enslaved so that as a united country we can together stand and show the world our original unity go. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to come off it. Richard Curry, Bird Samuels them. Let's do this.